All right, welcome to my office. And this is going to be the final build of the build series. And uh, I, I've mentioned this in some other videos, but I think this is the best one by quite a bit for some very specific reasons, mostly that wooden crate right there. That's probably the biggest reason. Uh, but let's take a look at all the parts that are going to be going into my new office PC. And, and here's, here's my old office PC. I've made some videos about this one especially like in particular when it exploded, um, that, that wasn't good. So if you want to see more videos about, if you want to know more about this build right here, yeah, look in there other build videos, but I don't want to talk about it. I'm really looking forward to ditching that computer right there and moving on to this. So we have the WinBot case. This is made by Inwin, very, very limited edition. I don't know how many they made, but I would guess it's a hundred or less. Um, we got two of them from Artesian Builds. And we put one up for sale for $10,000 and it sold within, I think, one week. Um, so these are very hard to get and very expensive. And you can see that the red circle right there indicates that we got the color black and slash red. So black and red are kind of like the AMD colors. And so I thought this would be good to do an AMD build. I had to change the video a little bit because I realized I left paperwork right here on top of this and it had our information as well as AMD's information and some stuff that I'm not allowed to share with the public. Um, AMD did kind of like sponsor that. I don't want to say they sponsored this build, but they supplied a really awesome CPU to me for this build. Um, and it's the first thing that AMD has ever sent to us. And we kind of more recently started a relationship with them now that we're building a lot more computers. So thank you AMD for sending out a processor. Um, very awesome. So let's talk about all the parts that are going into here. Other than the case, we have a 7,900 X, sorry, <laughs> we have an, we have an RX 7,900 XTX 24 gig video card, and you can see all black with the red stripes. I thought that was gonna be perfect to match. The only thing that I think would match better than this with this build would be the Starfield edition, because I think it'd be really cool to have the Starfield edition xtx card in this like outer space looking bubble but you know one can only dream they're pretty much impossible to get um we have a crosshair x670e extreme this motherboard is very difficult to find when i first got it it might have gotten easier to get over time but this i think they were a thousand dollars really expensive we were able to get one direct from asus thank you asus for helping with that and um, I don't know if they're hard to get still, but they were very hard to get when I first got this board. Like, I think this was six months ago, maybe or more. Um, yeah, it's taken a long time to build this system. So I've had a lot of these parts for a long time. So we have, uh, I believe this is 64 gigs of um, DDR5 RAM, G-Skill uh, Trident, what do they call it? Trident Z5 or something like that. And I don't remember the, the speed. Let's see if we can see it on there. It's uh, 6,000 megahertz. And then we have a 7900, we have a 7950X 3D. I thought about doing a 7950X non-3D because it's kind of like the X3D, a lot of people have issues and stuff with scheduling everything on their windows to make it work correctly. And I've never messed with that, but I just realized like, I kind of have to go all the way for the biggest skew um, because this is like a all, this is like an all in build, right? So, you know, like even though I don't need an XTX for this build, I kind of have to go with it because it's a $10,000 case, right? So you gotta go crazy. So the big motherboard, the big CPU, big RAM, big video card. Um, I have this power supply here. This is from, I picked this up a while ago, actually when I was at Micro Center, they had a bunch of these Evangelion power supplies. It's not really needed though for this build. We don't need a Evangelion part in the build. And since this is rare and never open, I think I'm gonna swap this. We have these in stock right now, factory refurb, and they're, they're just the regular non EVA built version. So I think I'll probably put this on a shelf somewhere and keep it because it's a, it's a limited edition part. So just, this is still the same power supply we're gonna use. It's just not the EVA version. Um, we have a ROG Ryujin 3, 360 ARGB. So this is like Asus's latest and greatest high-end um, 360 millimeter water cooler. I really didn't wanna do custom water cooling on this build because it's just kind of gonna be a nightmare working inside of a sphere with water cooling custom water cooling. And I want to, I want to use this case like forever. So I don't want to have to redo the water loop every single time I change out the new parts. So I think I covered, Oh, 
I have two SSDs in RAID 0 in here, and I forgot the model number, but they are, they're like the new, um, oh gosh, Rocket something or other. I think they're two two terabyte drives, and they're the new one that had um, extra cache, I want to say, on them. The last I heard, the technology hasn't really caught up with using that extra cache just yet, but anyway, when it does, they're ready to go. I'll have them in there. And I think that's pretty much it. I may have forgot something that I'll have to add when we're building it, but that's the gist of it. So next up, we're going to need to, we've got all these screws on top and I recently had a surgery, so I, I'm not physically able to lift um, this much weight. So Derek's going to help me. We're going to take all the screws out. We're going to lift the thing up. And then my plan is to put the screws back in, put the wood back in. And I want, I actually want the computer to be built on top of that crate because I actually really like this crate. So I'm going to leave the crate in here with the computer on top of it. And then I'm just going to get rid of this and I'll have all this other space over there for, for my tabletop for other things. So um, that's it. I'll be back. We'll unbox this WinBot. Okay, so off camera, we lifted that out of the box and I forgot to record. And now, there was this box in there as well. Now we're gonna throw all this foam back in the box in case we ever, you know, maybe maybe uh, 20 years from now, this, this will be worth a million dollars. It'll be like a Bugatti Veyron in a box, right? And I might wanna pack it back up and sell it for a million dollars. Probably a pipe dream. Um, so we gotta do that. And then the piece of wood goes back on top. Let me get the camera with the right view here. Ultra wide angle. Okay, here we go. Well, there's definitely not a PC inside. Oh, I should have put this inside the box. Oh. Too late now. Who's gonna take 12 more screws out and put them all back together, right? That'd be crazy. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> um, we have to pick this up and put it on top of that box. So. Okay, it looks like we want the end wing facing the front. What's wrong with that wood? Let's take the camera off the tripod. Pretty cool. I don't remember what it looked like inside from the pictures, I just remember the circle. And yeah, it's pretty sick. I don't know how to open it. I don't know anything about it. Does it just open? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna just break it, right? The shock back here seemed to really be resisting. They made 250 of these. There's a little plaque in the bottom. This is number 88. Well, I think this is time to pause the camera and do some reading and come back when we're ready. Okay, so like, there's a variety of things that I want to talk about. First of all is, how does my hair look in the reflection? Is it okay? All right, good. Um, <laughs> we almost broke the $10,000 PC case. I can't believe there's not a warning when you open this box. It's like, warning, do not try to manually open the sphere. Because, I mean, you, you see the thing like, uh, yeah, you know, like this, it says open right there. And there's like a hole right there for your hand to go in to start lifting it. And yeah, but then we realized there's a hydraulic and we thought that would just lift up. And then I saw there's a power cable going to the hydraulics. I'm like, oh, it's powered. I haven't read about this thing for like two years. So there's actually power buttons back here and there's a AC adapter in the box. So this, we have not opened this yet. I'm gonna let Derek, he's gonna hold the camera. All right, here we go, Derek. 
Oh, you have to hold the button too. You don't just press it once. Like if I let go, it goes like middle. What the heck? Okay, so while this is opening and destroying Lilith from Diablo 4, I want to mention another thing. This is not brand new. There is like thermal paste all over the bottom. Or that's maybe scratches. Thermal paste, I think, over here. Yep. Um, so I don't know if this is an RMA or this is a customer return with Artesian build. Let's see if it comes off with the spit. The old spit test. It did come off. Wait, no, it looks like it's coming back. Yeah, something happened down here. Um, it looks like it works though. You know, that was cool. Maybe okay. they're like, hey, don't do anything until it's closed. I don't know why, but I really thought the motherboard was vertical or horizontal. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. So that's close. But it's yeah, it's it's not it's not moving back and forth. Oh, um, you have to press another switch. Dude, how cool is that? Okay, now if I switch the other way, what is it just doing it by itself? I'm not. Oh my god, does it just spin forever on its own? <laughs> Probably. Thank you. Or is it following us? Did no. it just follow you? I don't know. Hello, over here. I have no idea. I feel like that needs to be connected to a computer for that to work correctly. Oh, uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Hello. Oh. Okay, well, we're going to cut the video again and do a little more research and come back and we're going to build this PC. All right. We got the fans, they're on the bracket, and they're zip tied, haha. -ha. That's literally the only thing I could figure out other than ordering some screws that would take days. This is gonna work just as well. And then I had to go hunt down one of these cables because it was missing from our kit. And we should now be able to put this into the case. And, one of, and later on when I'm done with this build, I'll probably clip those zip ties that are sticking out. Um, so for right now, let's see if I can get you guys an angle. Come on. There we go. Computer nerd struggles to install fans in spherical case. These and other stories coming up next. Uh, all right, so because this is gonna be mounted while it's like vertical, I have to be careful and get the top screws secured first, I suppose. I don't, I've, I've done this before and I really don't like it. Um, I might need to have a third party hold it for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to be calling in Derek. Derek! Derek! Calling all Derek's. I'm trying to put the motherboard in. There appears to be a way that you could probably take this all apart and then install the motherboard into the thing and then put it back in, but it's like not easy to do, oh. so I'm just gonna try to install it like this. Okay. So, could you hold it up in the air while I put the screws in? Okay, I think I'm good now. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everyone say thank you to Derek. Thanks, Derek. All right, six more to go. Backwards, looking for the click. Right there. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, about the click, I usually talk about it in every video when I'm building a PC. <clears throat> Most people don't do this. It's more of a me being, I don't wanna say a perfectionist because you guys just saw me zip tie, you know, $100 fans onto a $10,000 case. Um, so I'm probably not a perfectionist, but I do get annoyed about things maybe is a better way to say it. And if you don't go backwards when you're putting the screws in your motherboard risers, you, know, you hear that click right there? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a little click if you go backwards. It basically is saying that you found the thread, the start of the thread. And if you don't do that, and you just start screwing, if you start doing righty tighty with your screwdriver immediately, you may cross thread the riser. And then if it gets cross threaded and tightened down too much, now they're like stuck into each other and it doesn't go all the way down. And if it doesn't go all the way down, you can have grounding problems. So you need to take it all the way out and to take it all the way out 
You now need to take out every single screw in the entire motherboard, get a pliers, hold the riser on the back of the motherboard because they're stuck together, and do the whole thing all over again. Um, so I'd much rather go backwards and listen for the click. So let's do it again here, backwards. That click was not loud. That was, hear that? Hopefully you guys heard that one. Okay, that one's in. Okay, going backwards. That was the, that right there was the noise. Let's get, uh, let's do something easy. Make some big progress. Put this thing back on. And I don't know if anyone else, I'm not a neat freak, not a neat freak. I'm not a neat freak by any means. Probably pretty messy, but I definitely think this motherboard is a little bit dusty for a uh, really baller thousand dollar motherboard it needs a little cleaning oh my gosh hey you guys would not believe this Derek just appeared out of the woodwork with a cleaning cloth and isopropyl alcohol spray amazing good job Derek okay so we got that installed we're gonna do the motherboard wipe down first because after we get the thermal paste on this microfiber, it's gonna be kind of a toast. Probably like close to being needing to be thrown away. Maybe some eagle-eyed people that have been watching me cleaning this part, and they're like, hey, man, you need to peel that sticker. I know. I didn't miss that. I'm going to peel it. But I'm going to clean it first before I peel it. Okay, back off. It's my computer, not yours. Chill out, bro. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's peel it. <laughs> uh, it broke. Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. Look at that. It's it's like it wants to come off. It wants to come off, but it doesn't at the same time. I mean, I'm putting every ounce of finger muscle into it. And it just, oh, I got it. That was the most satisfying plastic peel I've ever done in my life. And I probably scratched the motherboard trying to do that. All right, what else are we gonna do while we're in here? Um, we are gonna try to clean this weird residue off the bottom. I don't know what the deal is with all this stuff, but let's try to clean it up. Isopropyl. Nope. Whatever happened in this case before I got it, it it basically stained the bottom of the case. So it might need to be like sanded and repainted or something. Uh, it came off a little bit, but it's better than it was, but it's not good. And I can't tell if there's a sticker on this emblem. It does feel like there's a sticker. Yep. There we go. That looks better. A little bit of scratching, staining stuff here still. So no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna give the motherboard one more wipe down on the bottom area because it just looks like it needs it. These nook 
nooks and crannies. I think everyone at home that's watching this is thinking this. You're not really needing to clean that motherboard more. You're just procrastinating because you don't want to finish building this PC because it's overwhelming. You're right. You're right. And my wife's calling. I'm going to clean the CPU socket and I'll be back. your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things i won't forget i use them all to push me to my best so treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air 
am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming and they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines so I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop. Sorry guys, I lost the clip of me installing the AIO into the machine and I just figured while I'm recording this uh, supplementary clip I should remind you guys that we're doing a giveaway computer and today is the last day to enter. Last I heard we only have about 300-ish entries so far so your chances of winning are very good but you only have one day, it's today. So if you watch this video tomorrow, the day after it got released, you'll be too late. But if you're watching it after the video was released and you're already too late and you really wanted that giveaway PC, please comment down below. Let, let us know if you want us to do another giveaway PC. We're willing to do it. We just need to have enough activity on these YouTube videos to justify all the time we put into them. In any case, one other thing I wanna mention is between when we finish this clip and this next clip you're about to see, uh, at one point we took out the 7900 XTX that was in this machine because we had to use it for a customer's build and we had put in a 7900 GRE temporarily until this new video card showed up. Hope that makes sense. Well, it is time to take out the 7900 GRE and install the AMD 7900 XTX Starfield Edition. This came from this thing right here is like a contest only thing I want to say and so a bunch like 500 people won these online and a lot of people put them up for sale on eBay CPU is a 7800X 3D which just has a special box I really wish they would have made like the IHS plated a different color or something maybe gold that would have been cool but they didn't <clears throat> um, but yeah I'm gonna put this in I just thought the whole Starfield space theme would kind of go well with the bubble boy here, kind of like a space helmet. So um, I'm going to get to work and throw this video card in. All right, we've got the Starfield card in. It literally took one minute, I would say, to do this. Very easy. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I believe that this strip right here, yep, that lights up. Looks kind of cool. I don't think the GRE... Oh, maybe maybe right there. Maybe there were a couple like spots for lights on the GRE, but this looks this looks cool. Um, now make sure we have video. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, for whatever reason, I have to not for whatever reason, but I have to use like a really crazy ninety degree. Maybe you can see it right there because it's a vertical mount card. It has to be this funky DisplayPort cable to get into that little gap, and it came loose when I was installing it. So we are good. And this PC is done, and I need to really clean up this entire office. It is a mess in here. I need to clean it up so that I can have like a B-roll in here of the whole office. This is Alex from Computer Headquarters, and today I'm going to show you my office. Oh, uh, sorry. Just kidding. Here, here is my office. This is the right door. All right. Here is my office. I'll give you a quick tour of the office to be kind of a extra to go along with the WinBot. So uh, I guess I'll start over here. A um, couple of video cards that I've been collecting. Some of this video card is just a funny story, but collector's video cards. I have a lot of collector video cards in my office. Uh, we've got some speakers up here that I wanted to modify at some point. I've got a gigabyte decanter that they gave me. Um, they gave me like a bunch of cool swag stuff at one point. So I like, I like the decanter. Uh, the Starfield Special Edition box, that's the box that comes with a 7900XTX and a 7800X3D. Um, we've got the Cybertank 4090, we've got a Gundam 3080, um, some stools over here with a fake plant air purifier, some swords back here. Um, that's a really big samurai style sword, forgot the correct name, but kind of think of Final Fantasy VII um, like Sephiroth, or Sephiroth, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, some Wharfdale speakers. I'll hopefully I'll put the name of the speakers or the model over the screen right now. They're sick though. They sound so good. Uh, Samsung S95C, I think is the model number. QD OLED, really, really awesome TV. 
I should use it more, but I'm usually just so busy I don't get don't really sit down to watch TV in here too often. Um, we got a little statue from Diablo 4, and a funny story about this is that I like the statue, but I've not really played Diablo 4. I'm a huge Diablo series player. I played a lot of Diablo 3, a lot of Diablo 2, and even a lot of Diablo 1 when I was a little kid. But um, yeah, I haven't been too drawn into Diablo 4 yet. I know there's a lot of negative press going on about it right now, and I've just been so into Path of Exile that I just don't feel the need to play Diablo at this moment until maybe the game, maybe years from now, the game will get more developed and have just a better better experience. Uh, but there's just not enough content for me to want to play it at the moment. But I hope if you're playing that you're having fun. Um, here's the piece de la resistance. I, don't, I can't speak French. Why did I try to do that? Uh, anyway, here's the big, the big ticket here, the WinBot PC um, with the Starfield 7900 XTX in it. Awesome computer. I've actually been using this for a few months now. It's been a little bit since I started this video series, and it's been solid. Love it. Um, what I miss over here? We got the Turbo out of a 2016... Oh, wait, sorry. 2006, I believe, is the correct year. 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution MR. I uh, had that car a while ago. It was a sick car, but I sold it. So I, I like cars, and I sell buy them and sell them pretty often. Um, we got a chair over here. We got some collectible tchotchkes kind of all over the place back here, right? We got some special edition video cards and motherboards, um, things that just didn't make it into the land center that I showed you before. Actually, back there, that's a 3070 Noctua edition. That's kind of a cool card. That's brand new. I'm kind of just holding on to it. And uh, we got little dragon guy up here. We got the Silver Surfer. I love that statue. It's a really cool statue. And that came bundled with this, I forgot her name, Nova maybe? Um, and she lights up. Um, hopefully I don't get demonetized for her, but she's, that's just how she looks. Okay. That's, that's how it is. Um, there's like a Batman guy back there. I won't, I won't say everything about every little piece here, but, um, some boxes, mostly some of this stuff, some of these things have uh, stuff in them. Some of them don't, uh, this is fun to mention. Uh, the Z790 apex motherboard, that is the original, not the, they made a remake of that. I think the new one's called the apex dark. This motherboard was one of the hardest motherboards to find ever made. Um, even maybe even harder than the SR3 Dark. Uh, this motherboard was basically discontinued instantly as soon as they made it. This is what it looks like. I have it in here, uh, but they go for like a thousand dollars now because they're so hard to find. And uh, let's see, a lot of my videos I shout out Ted from Silver Knight PC. He gave me this for Christmas a few years ago, and he actually I think he gave me this for Christmas last year. Um, Venom's probably my favorite Marvel character, so thanks Ted. Um, my desk is a mess over here. I, I meant to do some more cable managing stuff and I just didn't get around to it, but, um, this is a Samsung 57 inch, uh, I think it's mini LED or micro LED. I always forget which one is which, but I think it's mini LED. Um, this has been great. I've had this for a few months as well. And yeah, back to the, all the way back to the WinBot. So hopefully you guys like my office. And, uh, that was the, the whole video here, the whole tour, the whole land center series. This is the end. I hope you guys entered the giveaway. Um, today that you'll be watching this will be the last day of the giveaway entries to be taken for as valid, I suppose is the right way to say it. And then um, on April, oh wait, you know what? Sorry, it's the, the last day of the month. So tomorrow isn't the last day of the month, I don't think, but I think Sunday will be. So you'll have until whatever the last day of March is to enter. And then April 1st will be, I believe, Monday. And uh, we'll have to pick the winner on that day. So we'll call that person up and We'll make a video about who won. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series and let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. All that like and subscribe jazz, you know what I mean? And Derek's going to send you guys some B-roll of the Wimbot.